Some strong warning signs from the mortgage market on a housing slowdown. Diana Olick joins us right now with some breaking news on that front. Diana, good morning. Good morning, Becky. Yeah, record high home price appreciation is taking its toll and now showing up in mortgage demand, which fell nearly 7% last week to the lowest level in a year and a half. That, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. Now, mortgage applications to buy a home dropped 5% for the week, but we're down 17% annually. Demand is now slumping due to weakening affordability. Home prices rose over 14% in April year over year, according to the latest S&P Case Shiller National Index that was released yesterday with folks there calling the unprecedented jump truly extraordinary. Now, the average loan size on purchase applications also rose, indicating that much of the activity is now on the higher end of the market where there's more supply. First-time buyers are clearly getting sidelined. Higher mortgage rates not helping. The average rate on the 30-year fixed rose last week to 3.2 percent. As a comparison, it started this year around 2.8 percent. That also hit refinance demand, which fell 8 percent for the week, was 15 percent lower than last year at this time. So all types of mortgages in demand slowing down. Becky, back to you. Diana, this is really interesting with the timing because you now have the Fed starting to look at the idea of slowing its asset purchases. And, and the first line of defense that we heard from uh, St. Louis Fed President Jim Bullard, and I think it was also mentioned by Fed Governor Weller in an interview with Bloomberg today, uh, the first place that they're looking is the mortgage-backed securities because they say it's been such a red-hot market that they don't need the Fed's help on that. If, if they pull out of that market right at the time you're starting to see a slowdown, what would that mean? Well, it would mean that prices would start to cool off. The lower mortgage rates have juiced those higher prices in the past year. So you get the prices starting to cool down. But the real issue is going to be, do we get more supply onto the market that's going to allow more people to take advantage of those lower prices and buy? So it's really a double-edged sword. You're hurting people by having higher rates, taking away some of their purchasing power. But if you could cool down those prices, they might be able to get in. It's a very difficult balancing act there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.